Well, I think, I mean, in some ways, obviously, Lucrezia is born into an incredibly famous dynasty. She's a Medici, you know, which is, even if you know almost nothing about Renaissance Florence, that's probably yeah. a name that we we all know. So she was born into incredible wealth and privilege, um, in a sense. I mean, she material privilege, but actually, you know, her choices in life were pretty, pretty narrow. Um and, you know, there's an awful lot. Her parents, of course, are, are are incredibly well known. So her father was Cosimo de' Medici and her mother was Eleonora di Toledo. And but and she has a her sister, Isabella de' Medici, was also pretty well known. She was a very famous uh, patron of the arts. But actually, uh, Lucrezia herself, um, there isn't an awful lot about her. There's actually very little. I mean, obviously, she had such a short life. She was only 16 when she died, possibly at the hand of her husband, possibly not. Um, so I did try to stick to the very scant facts about her that I knew. I do feel actually that if you are going to write a novel about somebody who was real, even if it's, you know, half a millennia ago that they lived, you have to be really respectful of that. You can't yeah. just, yeah. you know, because you are taking their name, you're taking their appearance, you're taking whatever biographical details you can possibly find, you can find in history books. So I do think you have a responsibility to to keep your yeah, novel as close com- as you possibly completely can. Completely agree. That yeah. said, actually, I do think, um, in a sense, you know, the kind of gaps in Lucrezia's biography would be frustrating for a biographer or a historian, but actually for a novelist, the gaps, <laughs> I think anyway, are a bit of an opportunity. You can, in a sense, uh, fill those voids with whatever narrative you've heard. So, so you know, mine, but obviously it's a novel, but yes, it's based as, as closely as I possibly could on, on real events. But Lucrezia is, she's one of those people who's, history is written in water you know there, there isn't much yeah. about her Her parents Cosimo and Eleonora had an arranged marriage as, as she does as all her siblings did um but they were very lucky and they actually really adored each other and they really loved each other mm. and um they were actually even more unusual they were faithful to each other for that <laughs> very unusual for that class in time and they wrote letters to each other quite a lot uh, while they were apart and there's quite a lot about the domestic life of the Palazzo Vecchio in those letters, you know, so-and-so needs a new winter smock, somebody else has grown out of their shoes, somebody else is refusing yeah. to practice their lute. You know, any of this is familiar to anyone who... Lute practicing. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> exactly. Top of the list. Of the list. Of the list. <laughs> but Lucrezia doesn't, she doesn't really make that many appearances in those letters, which I found very heartbreaking. I've just got the impression uh, that she was always somebody who was slightly overlooked and underloved. 